there are three distinct layers of organization in a photo library. If you can understand what these are and how to use them, you're going to be able to ensure maximum security for your pictures as well as get the most out of them. These three layers are the storage layer, the tagging layer, and the projects layer. Lightroom is designed for you to understand and work with each of these three layers separately, and that's really the foundation of this entire book. The storage layer encompasses everything having to do with the storage, preservation, and access to the image files. This includes the storage devices you use, like hard drives, the folder structure on those drives, the names of the files, the way you back them up from one device to another, and the file formats that you save your images to. This should be as simple and orderly as possible, essentially the creation of a set of sequential folders that you just put your photos in as you download them from the camera. While it's just fine to use folder names to give you some basic information about your photos, it's not the place we want to do most of the classification. That's in the next layer up, the tagging layer. The tagging layer is in fact all about the classification of your photos according to subject matter. That could be the date they were taken, where they were taken, what kind of event they were taken at, how good you think they are, and within the keywords, a large free-form structure of whatever's important to you. All of this can and should be saved in the form of tags. You start to see the real value of tags, however, when you start to filter. You can filter by date and simply hide all images that weren't shot in the year 2013, or you could hide all images that weren't shot in the year 2012. If you've got location tags on, you can hide all images that weren't shot in California, or hide all images that weren't shot in Florida. Of course, you could also think of this as saying, show me all images that were shot in Florida. That's what the filter's doing. It's hiding everything that doesn't have the tag, showing everything that does have the tag. And of course, events let you find images, typically that are grouped together, like the pictures that were shot at graduation, or the pictures from that portrait shoot. And we can use ratings to say how much we like the picture, and we can even filter down to a very small group of pictures that we think are our very best. And keywords, of course, can be filtered in the same way. You can combine filters so that we can say, show me all pictures from a portrait shoot that have a five-star rating, and that may get you down to just one picture or two pictures. Filters are incredibly powerful for making sense of a large collection without having to move the images around in folders. You simply hide the ones you don't want to see and show the ones you do want to see. The top layer of organization the projects layer is where all the really great action happens. That's where we're able to put our images together in interesting and valuable ways. We can use the tags to help us make the projects, but really the projects should be done in their own particular place, which is the collections panel in Lightroom. So let's say we have a portrait shoot, and we want to make a couple of different groups. We want to bring all the pictures together so that we can do our rating and evaluate the entire shoot. We want to make proofs to send off to the client, and then the client's going to come back and say, okay, here's the best one, and I want you to send this, you know, and get this image ready to be sent out. We can use the tags, the event tag, to see just the images from that event and hide all other images. So let's put the filter of the portrait name on it and everything else disappears. And we can bring those into a collection that allows us to see everything and have access to it really easily. Note that when we put the images in the collection, they're not coming out of the folder. They stay in the folder exactly where they were. What we're doing is just bringing a representation of the image into this collection. So it'll look like a folder structure, kind of, but they use a different icon. They use this shoebox icon to let you know that you're actually not moving it out of a folder. You're just making a little virtual group of the images. We can use the rating to say, show me only the images that are good enough to send off to the client, and I'll make another collection for proofing. 
when the client finally gets back to me and says which image they'd like as a select, I can make another group still, and that will allow me to do my work and send it off. And if I come back to this shoot at any point in the future, I can see which images were in the shoot, which images I sent for proofing, and which ones they ended up selecting. And of course, all of that can be bundled up in the collection set. And when I take the filter off, we're back to seeing the entire collection. Okay, now let's take a look at the creation of a portfolio. In this case, we're going to be drawing images from the entire photo library. So we'll start by putting a filter on. And in this case, I'm going to filter to five star images. This is going to show me the best images across the entire photo library. I'm going to create a collection for all candidates for my portfolio. And I'm going to put all the images in that collection. I can now go through and refine my selections until I get it to the way I like it, and I can make a final collection of images for this portfolio. One of the real advantages of working in collections is that you can also make additional collections. So if I need to make a book of images, I can start with the images I've set are my final, and I can create a new collection just for that book. And the whole thing can end up being boxed up inside that collection set so that I can return to it later at any point. Let's take a quick look at where we can see these different layers in Lightroom. So the storage is all done here in the folders panel and you can see that I've got a nice orderly set of folders that are based on date. The tags can be seen in the keyword list and those are in a nice hierarchy. We can also see the tags and filter the tags by showing the filter bar and going into the metadata bar here and metadata filter and filter by location or filter by year or any of the other tags that are available. And the work that we do to bring the images together into projects is done over in the collections panel and this is where you can do stuff like create different portfolios or work on your jobs and get those jobs ready to publish and keep a record of what you have sent out to your client and what they've ordered, what they've liked. All images, all proofs, client selects. Okay, so those are the three layers. We'll examine all of these in depth throughout the rest of the book.